Your interviewer would not be happy if you can't solve this code question. So give it a positive integer and return true if n is a happy number. Now how do we determine if a number is a happy number? So let's say we're given the number 19. We will need to replace 19 with the sum of the squares of its digits, which is equal to 82. And we will repeat the process until the number ends at 1 where it stays, or it loops in an endless cycle. So the numbers that stays at 1 are happy numbers. So in this case, 19 is a happy number. Let's go over the doll process. We can imagine the steps of a happy number goes like this. It converts from one number to another until it loops at 1. And the steps of a non-happy number goes like this. It converts from one number to another until it hits a cycle and never reaches the value 1. Now we need a way to detect cycles. What we can do is using the concept of a slow and fast pointer. Now one number will convert one step at a time, and the other number will transform two steps at a time. Now if the two numbers equal to each other, we have found a cycle. If both of the numbers ends at 1, we have found a happy number. Let's implement the function is happy, take an input value n, create our slow and fast number, perform a do while loop slow is not equal to fast, convert slow one time, convert fast two times, return true if slow is equal to 1, Let's implement the function sum of squares of digits, take an input value num, rate the sum, while num is not equal to 0, retrieve the rightmost digit, increment the sum by the square of the digit, remove the rightmost digit, return sum.